What's up, up everyone? everyone? It's Warren, and it's a new month. That means a new round of the Theory Thursday contest. Theory Thursdays is my new segment where you all submit your theories for a chance to end up in an episode and compete for the monthly prize. Each week, you will vote on your favorite theory, and at the end of the month, out of all the winners, you vote on your overall favorite theory. Be sure to check out the video I did earlier on today so you can vote on last month's winner, and I'll link it up above. For those of you who want to submit your own theories for a chance to end up in an episode, you can find the directions and the email in the description down below. Okay, let's get started with this week's theories. We have some really good ones, especially with the release of the new Avengers Endgame footage that came with the Super Bowl. So our first theory today comes from Max. He is 12 years old living in California, and he has a theory about the Quantum Realm suits in Avengers Endgame. Max thinks that the Avengers will wear the Quantum Realm suits and go inside of the Quantum Realm within the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. Max bases this theory off of a couple things. The first one is that the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, said that in the teasers and the footage that we see for Avengers Endgame that will be released will only be from the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. And with that comes his second point, which is he's not buying that in the Avengers Endgame Super Bowl TV trailer spot, Rocket is wearing his old outfit from the comics. Max doesn't believe this to be true. He thinks it's misdirection from the Russo brothers. He thinks he's actually wearing his Quantum Realm suit. Thanks to many leaks that we've gotten over the past couple of months, we have seen the Avengers in these white and red new suits. And it's widely believed that these new suits that the Avengers are wearing are designed for traveling inside of the Quantum Realm. And this is the suit that Max thinks Rocket is wearing in the trailer. He also says that Rocket has never worn a suit like this before. In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, he wore a black suit and a black suit with orange slash reddish color on it. And in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and in Avengers Infinity War, he wore a dark blue and black suit. And all of which are basically sleeveless. And the one in the trailer has long sleeves. And he actually doesn't think that it looks very blue. He thinks this is misdirection in the trailer. In the movie, he actually thinks it's going to be a white or gray and red suit used for traveling inside of the Quantum Realm. And the shed that he's at is actually where Thor is at and that Rocket has gone to get Thor so he can go with the rest of the Avengers inside of the Quantum Realm. So that's it for Max's theory. He certainly does have some good points when it comes to Rocket's suit. Rocket has never worn anything like this suit before and everything that he has worn willingly has been sleeveless or short sleeved. And the Russo brothers are known for their misdirection in their trailers. So this very well could be the case. And we do know thanks to the Avengers in-game Super Bowl TV spot that Thor goes off somewhere looking for something. And he just spent a lot of time with Rocket so maybe Rocket is the one that goes off and brings Thor back to regroup with the rest of the Avengers to go inside of the quantum realm. So that does it for theory number one, on to theory number two. Theory number two comes from John Spillman. He's a teacher and he has a theory on what he believes could be key footage for Avengers Endgame. John thinks that footage for Avengers Endgame could have actually been shown in the Avengers Infinity War trailers that we saw. John says there are obviously some discrepancies of what we saw in the Infinity War trailers and what was actually shown in the movie. For example, the Hulk running in Wakanda and fighting alongside the Avengers when the Hulk never came out past the first scene of Avengers Infinity War. What if this is actually footage from Avengers Endgame, since the Avengers will most likely go back in time to change the past to affect the future? And in doing so, it creates a future where the Hulk actually does come out and fights with the Avengers in the Battle of Wakanda. John says that another interesting example is the Infinity Stones missing from Thanos' gauntlet while grappling with Captain America in the Avengers Infinity War trailer. There were Infinity Stones missing from the gauntlet in the trailer, but in the movie, they were all there. What if this is a Thanos who never found those particular Infinity Stones because the Avengers were able to acquire them before he did? Again, going into the past to change the events of the future. This could be something very clever done by the Russo brothers if this is in fact the case. Instead of putting what we thought were fake scenes in the Infinity War trailer, they actually put scenes from Avengers Endgame in there. Clues hidden in plain sight. This is definitely possible and I wouldn't put it past the Russo brothers. The Russo brothers are some very sneaky guys and I mean that in a very good way. I can definitely see the Avengers going back in time, altering the past to change the future, and us seeing the Hulk run with the rest of the Avengers in Wakanda in a final battle in Avengers Endgame. So I definitely think this theory is interesting and has a lot of merit to it. So that's it for theory 2, on to theory number 3. Theory number three comes from Gabby Grace, who thinks the Russo brothers are going to throw a huge curveball at us by killing the original six Avengers and War Machine. 
After the original Avengers all die, Nick Fury puts together a new team of Avengers that includes Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, Bucky Barnes, and Ant-Man. Gabby says the Avengers die because the Russo brothers say that we don't know anything about Avengers Endgame and we wouldn't expect all the Avengers to die. We are only expecting Captain America and or Iron Man to die. Gabby says it would also make sense because we didn't see Iron Man in the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer so he may have died. And one more reason is that the Avengers most likely would get involved if the Elementals were terrorizing cities, and in the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, we don't see any of the Avengers. The Russo brothers did say that we really don't have any idea about what's going to happen in Avengers Endgame. And I don't think anybody is expecting all of the original Avengers to die. However, many of their contracts are up and we haven't heard any word about them renewing them. In fact, we have heard that some of them will in fact be moving on from their characters. So, you never know, it just may happen. That's theory number three, on to theory number four. Theory number four comes from Adam Rollins. His theory is short and sweet, but is very, very interesting. Adam's theory is that some of the Avengers are actually inside some of the Infinity Stones. Gamora is in the Soul Stone, a version of Vision is in the Mind Stone, Loki is in the Reality Stone because where else would the Trickster God go, and Doctor Strange is in the Time Stone. These four will work together to weaken Thanos from inside his mind, lessening his resolve, increasing his self-doubt, fighting his control over these stones, distracting him while the rest of the Avengers do what they need to do to take down Thanos. This is certainly a theory that is thinking outside of the box, but it may not be as far-fetched as it seems. We know from the comics that the Soul World is inside of the Soul Stone, and the Russo brothers said that they're not going to repeat the same stories from the comics because we already know those stories, but they do draw inspiration from the comics. So perhaps instead of just having one Soul World inside of the Soul Stone, there could be other Avengers trapped inside of the other Infinity Stones. And again, the Russo brothers said that we don't really have any idea about what's going to happen in Avengers Endgame. And I don't think many people are expecting this, so you never know, it could definitely happen. So that's it for theory number four, on to the final theory, theory number five. Theory number five comes from Jordan Gondola, and Jordan has a theory about the greater threat of Avengers Endgame. Jordan states that since Doctor Strange was dusted in the events of Avengers Infinity War, Dormammu will realize that his deal with Doctor Strange is no longer valid. And once he realizes that, he will come to Earth to consume it, presumably wanting to turn all humans into his Dark Dimension minions. Jordan says that we are all looking for who this second threat could be, and there are only really a few people to choose from. Some main ones being Dormammu or Galactus. And since Marvel doesn't technically own the rights to Galactus yet, it has to be Dormammu. Jordan's theory actually makes pretty good sense. We know that there's a second threat coming in Avengers Endgame thanks to some leaks and a book that ties into the MCU. And Doctor Strange is dead, and if Dormammu realizes that, there is nothing to prevent him from going to Earth to consume it. There's no more threat of Doctor Strange trapping him inside of a time loop. So in Dormammu's mind, why wouldn't he go back to Earth? So he could very well be the second threat in Avengers Endgame. So there you have it, your five theories for this week's Theory Thursday. Let's do a quick recap. Theory number one was that Rocket is actually wearing his Quantum Realm suit in the Avengers in-game Super Bowl TV spot trailer, and the Avengers will go inside of the Quantum Realm within the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. Theory number two states that some scenes that we thought were fake from the Avengers Infinity War trailer are actually scenes from Avengers Endgame. The Avengers go back in time in the past that affects the future in which we see the Hulk running with the Avengers and fighting in Wakanda. Theory number three states that the Russo brothers will throw us a huge curveball and actually kill the original six Avengers and War Machine. This is because the Russo brothers said that we really have no idea what is going to happen in Avengers Endgame and this would certainly be a huge surprise to everybody. And from there, Nick Fury will assemble a new Avengers team. Theory number four is that some heroes are trapped inside of some of the Infinity Stones. Gamora in the Soul Stone, a version of Vision inside of the Mind Stone, Loki inside of the Reality Stone, and Doctor Strange inside of the Time Stone. And these four will work together to weaken Thanos while the other Avengers defeat him. And the last theory, number five, is that Dormammu is actually going to be the greater threat in Avengers Endgame, realizing that since Doctor Strange died, his deal with him is no longer valid. So he goes to Earth to consume it. So that does it for this week's theories for Theory Thursdays. Be sure to vote on which theory you think should win this week. And if you have theories of your own and want a chance to possibly end up in an episode of Theory Thursdays, you can send them to CosmicTheoryThursdays at gmail.com and you can find the directions in the description down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe with the notifications turned on so you don't miss an episode of Theory Thursdays and so you can stay up to date on everything Marvel related. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.